Hi, Jan. Hi, Eric. Jan, I invited you here today on the show, hoping that you could tell us a little bit about the SharePoint integration. And I was thinking maybe it's a good idea to, to just start with explaining what the SharePoint integration actually is. Yeah, of course. But before we go into details on the SharePoint integration, may, maybe we should just uh, start by saying, OK, what, what exactly SharePoint is? Because uh, integration is one thing, but uh, uh, SharePoint is for companies. It, it's a browser based collaboration platform where they store documents. Yeah, and exactly. uh, what we will actually do here is to uh, invite SuperOffice into that collaboration platform by extending the document management in SuperOffice to SharePoint. So uh, when uh, in today's solution in SuperOffice, uh, you have the possibility, of course, to, to, to create a document which will be linked to a company a sale, a project, and a person. And these documents are easily searchable and to find inside SuperOffice. But then you need to be a SuperOffice employee to get access to that document. Yes. What we do now is that we place this document, not inside SuperOffice, but we place it on a SharePoint site, meaning that all other departments, people in the organization, can have access to that document. Exactly. And also, the companies then can actually share them externally as well. So, so the possibilities are huge when when you actually place the physical document outside SuperOffice. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So, th yeah, that that's a great benefit, and and of course, it will also help people to to work together on the same document at the same time. Um, what what other benefits are there uh, from using SharePoint and, and in this case the SharePoint integration with, with SuperOffice? Yeah, there are two, two benefits. If, if you take if for the company first is that uh, you don't need to install any productivity tools on your local machine. The, the web tools and the mail link, that, that's obsolete. You don't need to have that. So, so mm -hmm. the ID departments uh, can uh, take care of other businesses. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, then you have, when you place the document in SharePoint, you have a common document repository for all the, uh, your organization. Uh, and also, the backup and the restore are now uh, the responsibility for the for the company. So, so that's a huge benefit for the company. But for the end user, uh, it's very easy to just click on a document. It opens it in your browser, and then you start typing in a document. Uh, it's automatically saved because that's what SharePoint does. And, mm -hmm. and you get a lot of uh, document management uh, capabilities when you use SharePoint. Like you say, uh, many people can be uh, into the documents and edit it at the same time. Uh, you have versioning uh, of the document. You can have in and out check of the document. And also, uh, you can just close it and it's stored in SharePoint. Exactly. So there are huge benefits for the end user when you have this document management system or capabilities yeah. from, from SharePoint. Yeah, and Jan, I, I understood that, that we've also added now a feature called Visible 4 so that you can actually can control who has access to the document inside SharePoint and like in SuperOffice. Because, I mean, it, it's a feature that we had in SuperOffice before, but this is now yeah. also available in SharePoint? Yeah. Uh, be because uh, when you actually place a document in SharePoint, you would like to inherit the, the visibility of the document, saying if you create a, a document in SuperOffice, uh, you say it won't be visible for my user group or private. Yeah. That will be inherited into SharePoint when you have the visible for functionality in the SharePoint integration, meaning that you can create Azure uh, groups, uh, SharePoint groups, so you can uh, keep those settings also in SharePoint. Exactly. Wow, that's great. Mm. Jan, can you also show us a little bit about like uh, on how, how this works, how the integration works? Yeah, of course I can do that. So let's uh, take a look here now. Okay, so what you actually do now, you go to the new, 
and you create a document like you always do. You choose a template, choose a sale, a project, type in some subject or heading, and then you click create. What actually happens now is that the document will open itself in Word Online. No web tools, nothing. You can start typing directly into the document. And what SharePoint gives you is that it's automatically saved. You don't need to do anything. If you close it, it's open. You can also do the preview from inside SuperOffice. And you can go to the SharePoint site and you'll find the document here. If you just do an update, you will find a document that you just created in this SharePoint site. You can open it from there. Here is the SuperOffice document repository. And here you see all the documents I've created and all these metadata columns that I've added from SuperOffice. And all these columns or data are searchable from within SharePoint. That gives the users a very flexibility. And also, you can now search inside documents. This is also a feature that SharePoint provides. If I search for boom and hello, I can open and find the corresponding document directly. So these are good features that you will get from storing documents in the SharePoint. Well, Jan, it's, it's great to see how uh, the integration works. And, and it's, yeah, it's good news as well to hear that this will replace the old web tools so that people will not have the, the problems of installing those anymore. Um, but I can imagine that there's quite a few customers now watching this video thinking, OK, how can I get started with this? Yes, of course. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy. It's, uh, it's a standard SuperOffice way of doing things. It should be easy for, for the customer and the end user to set it up. So first of all, uh, you need to be in SuperOffice Cloud. You need to be in SuperOffice Online. That's, that's the first part. Yeah. Then you need to have a subscription of Microsoft 365. Those are very connected when it comes to the user uh, which you are authenticated in yeah. using Azure AD inside SuperOffice. And also, then you are automatically authenticated into SharePoint with that uh, repository. So, so you need to have SuperOffice Online, SuperOffice or a Microsoft 365 subscription, and you need to use Microsoft 365 as your IDP or authentication method. Yeah. Uh, and when you do that, it's very easy. If you are an administrator, a super user in super uh, in uh, SuperOffice, you go into the maintenance uh, settings, maintenance in SuperOffice, and you just go to the preference and and set up. Do you want to like to use SuperOffice as your document repository or SharePoint? If you create any, if you choose SharePoint, then uh, you are presented with a wizard with five steps that you just need to go through, mm -hmm. and then it's set up. And it's actually meaning which site do you want to store these documents uh, on, which is, which is the name of the document library, where are the templates, and if you're going to use metadata back and forth from SuperOffice, yep. and do you want to, like, to use the Visible 4 functionality. So it's a very easy wizard that you go through and it's set up. Nice. Nice. And Jan, if people sw make the switch from saving documents in SuperOffice to SharePoint, will they still be able yeah. to access and open the, the old files that they have available in SuperOffice? Yeah, it will. Uh, but, but we're also now working on a migration tool so that uh, the existing customers can then migrate all documents they have stored in SuperOffice uh, before. So when they start using this new integration, they can also transform or migrate all the old documents. So, so we are uh, creating this migration tool. Uh, hopefully it will be ready very, very soon. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, you can also multitask or have some documents in SharePoint and some in, uh, in uh, the old uh, repository, but 
uh, the best way is of course to migrate all documents and have it have it in one repository. Yeah, exactly. Because then everything is saved in in, in yeah, one yeah. space, and and like you said, then everyone within the company will have access to those documents, whether they use SuperOffice or not. Mm. That's really good, Jan. I think you've been quite thorough with with what you've been uh, been telling us and all the information that that you've been giving us. But I still have one question le left for you, because yeah. I can imagine that not all of our customers and not all the users use SharePoint as their um, you know, their solution to handle uh, documents, to create, save, and share them. Um, mm -hmm. What other solutions do our customers have when it comes to integrations with SuperOffice and other document handling systems? Yeah, we have, we have three options now. Uh, we have this uh, use SharePoint integration that you can start using. Uh, and we also have the same possibility if you are not using Microsoft, but, but are using Google, Google Workspace. Mm -hmm. Then it's the same thing, that you use the Google uh, Docs and Google Workspace to, to store your documents. Pretty much the same way as you do in SharePoint, but the, those are the two different ways. Or you, you can use the standard way, is that uh, you use SuperOffice as your repository in Azure yeah. Blobs. So that's the three alternatives you have when it comes to storing documents in SuperOffice. Nice. Well, Jan, thank you so much for telling us all about the SharePoint integration and, and showing us the benefits. I think this gives us a, a pretty good overview of how people uh, should get started. So thank you very much for your time. And um, we, we hope me. to see you uh, back someday. Yeah, hopefully. We really hope you guys enjoyed the show. As always, the resources will be in the links down in the description. So make sure to check those out. Thank you for watching and see you next month. Mm -hmm.